All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Coffee and a Combo podcast. I am one of your hosts, Jenna. And I am the other one, Cameron. And today, you guys, um, inspired by recent events, if you haven't caught up, catch the heck up. We are going to be going over some of your guys' worst dating stories. We've had a few send, send in um, shorter stories, longer stories, and we even have had someone who sent in like a video of them telling their story. So we're going to get that for you guys. And it's going to be great. And it's going to be hilarious. And we're going to have a fun old time. But before we jump right into that, Cameron, tell us what we're drinking and then we'll do updates and it'll be fun. Okay. So today we are drinking um, AeroPress. And if you guys listened to last week's episode with Tessa and Jack, then you heard me and Jenna talk about AeroPress a little bit at the beginning. And Jenna was like, yeah, we should totally have AeroPress coffee on here. I was like, I'm pretty sure we have. And she's like, well, I don't know if we have. Anyways, and Aeropress coffee essentially is like espresso in a way. And um, it's just like a little bit of coffee. And you either can add hot water then to this very strong coffee to make like an Americano. Or you can add milk. And I added oat milk to it. And the oat milk I was drinking today is from Thrive Market. So it's just oats and water. There's no like oil or anything added to it. Which most mm-hmm. oat milks have like all that oil and stuff in it. Which makes it thick. Like it makes yeah. it like... So, um, yeah, I was drinking um, an iced oat milk latte made with my AeroPress. Walk us through the um, process of making AeroPress because I was watching you and I was like, whoa. Okay, so you have your ground coffee and then you put it into the little press. You put however many scoops of um, grounds. Like you can do one, two, three, or four pretty much. Mm -hmm. So then – and then there's like lines on the AeroPress. So say I do four scoops of coffee in it, then I'm going to fill – the hot water up to the four line and then you stir you mix it all up and you let it sit for about 10 seconds and then you press it and then the coffee comes out at the bottom in essentially like a espresso shot yeah does that make sense yeah it makes sense okay it's like it's like almost like uh it's like a cylinder and like the press sits on top yeah. of your cup yes yeah, so you're pressing it right into your cup mm-hmm you know, yeah. I just thought it was fascinating. Um, Maybe no one else thinks it's fascinating, I have, but oh, I thought it was I'm sure fascinating. People will. If I have time and I actually do make like an AeroPress this week or something, I can post it to the Instagram. But so you guys no, can see. but no promises. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see if I get to we'll it. We'll see. Someday. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. But that is what we were drinking. And now you guys, we have a bunch of intro We do have a bunch of topics intro. that we have to cover here today. Yeah. Um first okay, first things is first. So this is gonna be a few weeks probably past uh, past date because uh we're recording we record all these different episodes pretty much every day but claire and dale yeah did you watch the episodes with claire and dale on the bachelor no i watched like two maybe i think i watched two and then i just couldn't do it anymore um so you saw pretty much how she was like in love with him and he was in love oh with yeah 100 okay. percent. saw that um and then I was just like, this is dumb. And then I stopped watching. And then I pretty much didn't watch any more of The Bachelorette because I was like, this is stupid. Now I actually have been keeping up with The Bachelor. And I'm very... You have? Yes! I haven't! Every Monday. I haven't had time. Every Monday I go over to my friend's house and we, like, <gasps> eat and we have, like, a little glass of wine. And yeah, I'm um, super jealous. Because I've been yeah. wanting to watch The Bachelor and Brady didn't want to get into it this time. Yeah. No. It was actually... It's actually been so good. And I've actually am very interested. And the guy is so nice That's and what sweet says. and genuine. And we made... The little joke and anyone who's actually get like keeping up will get this but um uh he, he has this hot tub and for like there's been so many dates that they're just they just end up in this like little hot tub but it's like one of those cute like old like wood hot like wood hot tubs whatever and it'll just like pop up in the middle of the woods or wherever and okay, like that's actually really funny and so serena, serena we were sitting there and we were watching it last week and all of a sudden, they're back in the little, his little hot tub. And she's like, hmm, that little hot tub just follows him around, doesn't it? And it's the funniest thing. And I don't know why, but I just thought it was the funniest thing. Because it does. He just, like, has a little hot tub. That's actually so funny. Well, how many episodes has there been? Is this the third one? I don't know. I think this is the third I'm one. I'm like, am I that far behind? Like, so, tomorrow, um, so I have watched, yeah, there's been three. And we're recording this, so you guys know, for, like, date-wise. We're recording this January 23rd. So tomorrow on the 24th, that should be the fourth episode, I want to say. Um, I might so be wrong So they'll be listening that, to this, like, right before, like, around six or something. Yeah, that's when they'll be listening to this, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the question is, should I catch up? 
Um, I would. I've actually read. really been into it. I really would like you to because there's this one girl on it. What's her name? Veronica or something like that. I've I've heard about her. How she's okay. like the devil. She's the devil. But this last episode, she was actually kind of like the funniest, and I actually kind of loved her. And I'm like, how is she turning from like my least favorite person to my favorite person? I don't know. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that stuff out. Okay, but back to Claire and Dale. You guys, apparently they're done. It was yeah. not Dale. Dale posted something on Instagram, pretty much saying like. Um, we're going our separate ways, blah, 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 blah. And then a couple of days later, Claire posted something and was like, oh, um, I was made aware of a post that Dale put on Facebook or not on Facebook, on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. She's like, and this was pretty much, this is not what I wanted, pretty much. Right. Like, this is all news to me, too. Like, I found out about it when you guys found out about it. And I'm like, do you what? not, like, live together? Like, I'm I confused. was very confused by that, too. Well, he lives in New York and has, like, a modeling career. And she lives in California. And his and husband with just, her mom or whatever. Yeah, her mom's dying. But could you imagine just all of a sudden being like, oh, hey, by the way. Well, they posted. Here's the thing. They had posted pictures together. Like the last. They, it had been like a week ago of them yeah. kissing. Like a picture of them kissing. Yeah. And like about. And he had commented like, love you, baby, or something like that. And it's I like, just don't. Like what? what? I never really liked Dale. I'm going to be honest with you. Like I know that Claire had her like share of issues, whatever. But I never really liked Dale either. He gave me off vibes. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like the whole, like, the, like he's like, I'm the hottest thing to come out of South Dakota. And I'm just like, dude, get over yourself. Yeah, I think, yeah, he might have been a little too full of himself. I don't know. I just don't know what to think of it all. I'm just waiting to see, like, if we find out more tea on the whole right. situation. I want Like, to what went tea. down. And apparently everyone's saying that the reason they broke up is because he wanted to stay in New York and she wanted to stay in California and they couldn't decide. Like, they couldn't. That's dumb. I couldn't imagine that. I've heard that yeah. he cheated. That's what I've been you hearing. You heard that? Yeah. Um, the group chat, it's a like a video of like all these friends get together and they talk crap about whatever drama's happening in the world. And um it's called the group chat, and they were saying that there's allegations that he cheated. Oh, so that's what's like interesting. That's but what's she circling around want, like my Twitter breakup. She stuff. pretty much said like I would I would have stayed with him, but he like broke up with me. Mm-hmm. Would she have done that if he cheated though? I don't know. See, I don't know. No one knows. She doesn't even know. She probably. doesn't even know. Yeah. Well, she is also 10 years older than him, too. Yeah. And, I don't think I'd be able to get over that. And, well, I think it'd be different if it was, like, the other way around. Yes. And she's, like, 40, and they, they want to have a family. Yeah. Like, that's just That's really a lot old. for someone to swallow. Yeah. And if you're in your 30s and your modeling career, and all of a sudden this girl's like, I want to get, oh, I fell in love with you in the first two weeks, and we're going to get married and have babies right away. Like, she said yeah. that. She literally said that they're going to have a bunch of babies. Said that on the show. Like, after they had ended yeah. up, like, getting engaged. I honestly do just feel bad for her, though. Like, well, she's she like, just wants a family. She wants she just wants yeah. it so bad. Okay. Wow. We have so many topics. To okay, let's move on. on. Let's okay. move on. Um, The next one is... Oh, you're going to tell me about this detox oh. <laughs> You guys. Okay. Okay. I will try not to be too lengthy. So, back when I was on TikTok, I haven't been on TikTok now for, like, two months because it was just taking up so much of my time, and it's just... I'm also not on It's just TikTok. bad. It's yeah. just bad. Um, I got really, in, I'm going to be honest, I got really into it for, like, a couple of months there. And, like, my friends and I would just send back, like, funny ones. And most of the stuff that was on my page was, like, cooking and, like, workouts and, you know, like, inspirational people, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, anywho, this one girl she posted and she's like, hey, um, this detox tea is amazing. It's, a, like, it's called, like, this Chinese detox tea, blah, blah. She's like, go look at your Asian market. My Asian market didn't have it, so then I ended up ordering it off of Amazon. And pretty much she was like, hey, every once in a while, you know, like, you have a little trouble, like, pooping. You know how much we love to talk about poop on here, you guys. Um, She's like, every once in a while, I have, like, a little bit of issues. And so she's like, try this detox tea. And she's like, she's like it's not, like, a laxative. Like, you won't be like, oh, my gosh, whatever. Anyway... I ordered this tea and I tried it and I was thinking like I thought it was gonna like start working right away because here's my deal whenever I have pizza I just like it messes up my insides in case you guys were wondering like it just doesn't Karen's everybody everybody was wondering that Jenna. everyone was wondering but Karen is making faces um so I was like I, I have pizza and I was like you know I'm gonna try it and I had had it sitting in my cover for like two weeks and um total impulse purchase but i finally like tried it and i drank like two cups i drank a cup of it and then i waited for like an hour and i'm like nothing's happening so i drank another <laughs> cup of it and i'm like still nothing's happening so i went to bed and then i was at work the next day and you guys i literally text my sister Serena, and i was like here's the deal 
um it feels like a monster is trying to like get like make its way out of my insides like oh it was terrible well, you had too much tea i probably did have too much tea <laughs> you guys though i had no <laughs> idea what was happening so i was working at high v that morning i was on like one end so we have bathrooms like, right by like where we do our jobs and i was on like one end of the grocery store and i had to like little i like just, i literally just left my cart i like parked it off to the edge go. of an aisle and i like started sprinting back and i was oh like what is happening God. like my intestines w- were in, not in a good shape so unwell if someone ever is like drink this detox don't do it it's not worth it never drink no n- don't do that drink a lot of water m- like maybe eat some fiber do something natural that's not whatever the- well, and the tea, tea can <laughs> is supposed to be natural um yeah and it, the thing is is it like i was thinking i'm like it's gonna taste terrible if it like if it like cleans you out or whatever right um and i drank it I'm like this is actually yummy like i would act like oh. if it did not destroy my insides i would probably um drink it regular because i really like well, it well you just really need to be detoxicated 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 detoxified i don't even know what the proper terminology there is but uh it was bad and that was my detox experience moving on to the next one okay and the next one is bernie's Oh my gosh, the Bernie memes. You guys, I don't care what your political affiliation is, whether you're Republican, Democrat, moderate, whatever, blah, blah. Uh, the Bernie Sanders memes are giving me life. They're, I love the Bernie Sanders memes. They are to die for. So I was I was thinking about this. I was like, what does Bernie have to say about all this? You know what right. I mean? Like, what is Bernie thinking? He's of just everything? such a character. Okay, so this is, this is what he said, you guys. This is a Bernie, straight from Bernie himself. This was his response to everything. In Vermont, we dress warm. We know something about the cold, and we're not so concerned about good fashion. We want to keep warm, and that's what I did today. I can't do the Bernie voice. You can't do the Bernie voice, but it's okay. Because, I mean, he has a but he has an accent. He has a little bit of an accent. Uh, how does he talk? I don't know. I'm not going to try, and I'm going to sound like an idiot if I try. But the we mittens, We want to keep guys, warm, and that's what I did today. The <laughs> mittens. And then there was another thing that didn't they say that was like, well, at least now everyone knows like Vermont makes like yes, he said, good he said, mittens. Yeah, he said, and now everybody knows Vermont. And then he says, and then he added, and good coats too. And what is so funny is the Bernie memes just like taking over. And so everyone's like, what's what's Biden done in his first two days? No one cares. Look at Biden. Look at, uh, yeah. look at Bernie's mittens. <laughs> yes, everybody is <laughs> laughing at Bernie. And you were saying like how pretty much like nothing can bring America together. Yeah, but the so Bernie- my sister, my sister sent me this actual like the group chats. Um, our sister group chat is pretty funny tonight. So Malia, she's like, she literally texts and she said, um, so she sends this and it says U.S. No one can unify our country. We're too different. We're too broken. Too much damage has been done. No one can bring us together. And then hashtag Bernie Sanders. Hold my beer and hand me my mittens. <laughs> and it's a fu- we'll post it on the gram, but it's the funniest thing. And then she just set and then she te- um sends right after, send me the send me your best Bernie memes. I'm living for them. And then our whole group chat just starts like blowing up it's with Bernie. Bernie memes. And they're just all oh, hilarious. Yeah. Anyway. So love that. Love the Bernie memes. Here for it. He is hilarious. Okay, next topic. Oh, this one's mine that I haven't told yeah, you Yeah, and it's secret, secret. Okay, yes. Um, do you know what cupping is? Oh, yeah. Have you ever had it done before? No. Um, My brother-in-law, though, the the Nathan, physical therapist Nathan, yeah, brother he, Nathan. He does it? Um, Yeah, he does it for some of his patients. Okay, like, so. Like, he's trained in it. He has a whole set and everything. Okay, so get this. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in Minnesota, like, a couple weeks ago when you guys were filming this, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law um have been going to their their physical therapy no i don't even know it's like they're i don't know if it's a physical therapist or if it's just like their the therapy person the person who Mm -hmm. gives them the massages Mm -hmm. um and they said that you can get your own cupping like kits right so they go and they get their own cupping kit it's 25 dollars. okay i'm going to show you this picture probably won't show it on the pod thing because brady will not want that so this is a picture of Brady's back. So, okay, you need to know, and maybe you already know this, that if if you're, like, bruising, that means that you're, like, really tight and, like, yeah. sore and it's spots that need to do it. So they did my back. She did my back, and I didn't have a single spot. I had, like, one red circle, and she did, like, my whole back. And then she did my shoulders, and those were, like, purple because oh, that's where, like, wow. I yeah. have my stress. This was Brady's back. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, so were, were you guys the silicone ones? I don't know. What kind of cups were they? It was like a plastic little thing. Okay. Because like traditional, so like when I Oh, traditional, it's like a burning. Yeah. So you like, no, like light a flame in there and then you like, yeah, that was not it. it. Nope. You pump air. 
Okay, yeah, I think those are the kind that Nathan has. Okay, too. so I told my mom about it, and I was like, oh, "Should we get this?" Because Brady has a lot of really bad back, like tension and stress. And honestly, like we both just need to be getting professional massages like once a month at yeah. least. Um, but that's expensive, and so I was like, "Should we get this?" It's like twenty five dollars. And my mom sees like a really good natural chiropractor back where she's from, and she's like, "Well, let me talk to like his name's actually Doctor Carr." She's like, "Let me talk to Doctor Carr and see." If and so my dad asked him about it, and he said, oh, I didn't know, like, that that people were doing that. He's like, oh, he's like, you've got to be really careful. That's deep tissue. Like, you could get seriously injured if you do it wrong. Oh. And he said, and he said to my dad, like, three or four times, that you have to be really careful. That makes me nervous. And so then my mom told me this, and I was like, oh, like, okay, never mind. We're not going to order this kit. Yeah. And so I'm like – Ooh, like very concerned for my brother and sister in law right now. Like, should they be oh. doing that? But also, they're whoever who is trained in it told right. them to get it. Well, I mean, if you think about it, like anything like that, because, like, I mean, that is it. That's the exact. So, what? So, I mean, how I don't know anything. Like, I literally don't know anything. But, <laughs> um, just want to preface with that. Maybe I should ask uh, Brother Nathan about it. He would know. But, um, he. Yeah, Malia will be listening to this. Yeah, Malia, Malia ask, yeah, ask, Nathan. ask Nathan what he thinks about this. But essentially, it's, like, the reverse of, like, a deep tissue massage. massage. And, like, however much training you need, there's still people, like, they have training to actually know how to massage you properly. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would be, like, comfy with doing it. Especially all o- over my back. Like, my actual, like, if I got it, I might do it, like, on See, my actual muscles my shoulders where I can, like, feel, feel the tension or the knot. The tension or the knot. I might be comfortable um, doing that, but like he had it all over his back. Like, what are you even grabbing at? I don't know. I don't know. His that whole kind of, back is a mess, though. I, that whole freaks back me is. out, though. Yeah, but she did my whole back, and my back did not come to full. So I'm he ha- he he need he needs something. He definitely needs something. But whether or not you guys should do, be doing it by yourself, I exactly. I would, I would think no. That's making me very I would nervous. Think no, I'm 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 this is different. Okay, this is something cool. But I had to tell you about it because it was very interesting, and it's very interesting how the spots that. Like, I told her, so I was like, my shoulder. Okay, what? how long does it take for that bruising to go away? Okay, um, one second. Do I have right. anything on my shoulder? Oh, I can't see. Move a little bit more. Um, uh, no. No, oh, I can see a slight mark, but, like, So, they kind of look like hickeys, honestly. They yeah. do, but they're perfect circles, so you know they're not. Um, he still has them, and but they're, they're going huge. away. <laughs> yeah, and they're huge. <laughs> it's like a, like a, yeah. what's something with giant lips? I don't know the, that that like fish. Like a huge fish sucking off your neck. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, brother Nathan, let us know. Yeah, let us know. And then we'll tell the rest of the pod too, so they know if they should be doing this or not. Um, this is the kind of stuff we do, you guys. We do these things, and then we tell you all about it. Okay. Um, and then our very last topic is you know what it is, hinge boy. Okay, you guys have been waiting for an update. I briefly mentioned him in the guest episode last week, but I didn't want to steal all the thunder. Um, I don't think that's going to be working out. No, I think there will be no more updates with Hinge Boy whatsoever. <laughs> but we're all waiting for Hinge Boy 2.0. 2.0 to make his appearance known. Where are you at, boy? Um, Rip to R. Hinge R. Boy 1.0. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Moment of silence. But actually, no, no we don't I'm want it. <laughs> I'm not going to make the not cut. It. It's actually not an R.I.P. No. We don't want you to rest in peace. <laughs> we hate you. Just kidding. No, we don't. Just kidding. Not at all. Just kidding. Um, um, just, I don't think it's just going to be a good fit. I don't think it's going to work out. Um, So, yeah. That's I made that. a really good story. It did make a really good story. I'll tell my kids that someday, probably. And also, um, Jenna got some tips if you guys listened to last week's episode with tessa and jack yeah um jenna now has tips on how to properly well not that you didn't know how to no no, no don't look at me like no, that. no no i wasn't gonna say that oh, i wasn't gonna say i was gonna that. i wasn't gonna say properly that was not what i meant to say what i meant to say is you, you have the resilience you need now because you were ready to give um, up um yeah i don't know about that that whole i think you do okay he you gotta keep going he was on for two years like years plural <laughs> You can do that. Um, I'm sorry. If I'm on this app with, like, nothing to show for it for longer than, like, I don't know. I think, like, well, maybe. Well, what if you knew you were going to find love? You knew in three years you would find love. Um, would you stick with know. it? I That's just, like, so much work. Like, literally, you guys, Hinge Boy was, like, a month of 
like exactly. talking on Hinge, but and then also it was, like, exciting. Too, it also was. It was also. It was exciting. also exciting, but it was also like a lot for me. Okay, so and take, then take breaks between each. But okay, just keep okay, going. fair enough. Okay, but then, but then there was like two weeks of texting. And then there was the date, and then I was afterwards like, oh my gosh, did he like me? Like, did I like him? Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just like, it's a lot. And then for it to just like end up going nowhere, I'm like, cool. So that was like two months that I wasted, question mark. But not, but not. But not, but like also kind of in a way, yeah, a I little mean, bit. I get it. And it's like, well, why don't you talk to more than one guy at once? And like, it's, and it's not, I'm just, I just can't do it. And it's not that I'm like super loyal to Hinge Boy or anything like that, or that I was super loyal to Hinge Boy. It's like, I just don't have the capacity for it. Like the mental, emotional, like I just don't, I'm like, I can't, I'm not that person. I can't do it. I I can't talk to more. I can't quote unquote talk to more than one guy at once. It's just like, does not work for me. That's crazy. So we'll see if another process gets started up here, but I might just kind of be like, Mm, she might it. be MIA for a month and then Hinge Boy 2.0 will make his appearance. Yeah, who knows? We we'll waiting see. for you. We'll see. I need to say we I listen I re-listened to like our episode a while back and you're like like even if it doesn't work out with him, you have to stay on Hinge for, I the, did content. for the content. <laughs> and you said you would. Okay, I'll stay on. Okay, thank you. I'll go on a few more terrible dates. Oh uh, okay. <laughs> with that, that's actually great. Where it's gonna lead us into your guys' cringy date stories. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are back, and we are just going to start off by going back and forth and reading these stories, and I'm going to go first. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I was born ready. Okay. So, this girl says, haha, I have to tell this one. It was only our second date, so not super comfortable yet. We were driving around just talking and decided to check his cattle. We had to climb over a barbed wire fence, and I was wearing yoga pants. Big mistake. My leggings got caught on the barbed (gasps) wire in multiple places, and I was stuck to the fence. I tried pulling myself off, and my leggings ripped out across my butt. (laughs) So he had to literally pull each part of the barbed wire off of my butt since I couldn't see and basically saw half of my bare butt. Extremely awkward at the time, but we laughed about it the next day. Oh my gosh, I want to know Second how date. many more days there were after that. And also I want to know how well did you know this guy beforehand because going out in the middle of the night in the middle of a field, like that gives me kind of serial killer vibes. But if it was like a small town situation in high school where you guys had known each other for like ever and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, should we date? And you're like, yeah, yeah. that would be totally different. I need to know a few more details about that. That was kind of what I was feeling. Like the, it was like high school and yeah. Okay, okay. 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 That, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, let us know. Let us know. Is your butt okay? Is your butt? <laughs> is there scarring on your butt? Please at least tell me they were like pink le- like leggings and not Lululemon. Because if they're Lululemon, <gasps> I would have cried. I would have cried more about the Lululemon leggings oh than gosh. I would have cried about a boy seeing my bare butt. That's true. Unless you're in high school, then both would have been. Yeah, both would have been very traumatic. <laughs> um, now in my adult life, though, that money oof, just down the drain. Okay. Okay, that would be fun. So, next one says. I kissed a boy in high school, and he got a booger in my mouth. <laughs> we'll never forget it. I puked after. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, first off, is it a crusty booger or, like, we a, gotta know. like a gooey booger? <laughs> like a gooey booger. Okay, okay. okay. I kissed a boy in high school, and he got, okay, this is what I want to know. Uh, how, okay, because was it, like, dripping down? <laughs> Or, or were you guys just aggressively like, kissing like, that much? For sure, like a major makeout. Like a major makeout. That would have to, for like booger in the mouth situation, <laughs> it would just have to be like full on just like I cannot. eating each other's faces. That is so Right? Bad. Right. And then she said, I puked afterwards. I and I, puked and afterwards. I, feel like, I feel like that's not her being dramatic. Like no. I think she actually puked. I straight up would have. Okay, so oh. there's been the, so have you ever like heard about those moms who they'll their babies will be having like a hard time breathing because they're like mouth their mouths are full of boogers mouths their noses are full of boogers and um i don't or maybe it was just literally one story that i read and it has just always stuck with me and like they're too young to like realize to like hey breathe through your mouth or whatever and so they do that like that, they do that thing you know yeah. the babies do sometimes when they can't figure out how to breathe properly and she said that she and you usually have those little like nose, the little nose the little nose yes. suckers but she, i think it, the article or something that i read it was like they were in the middle of like a uh, uh store or something and she didn't have one of the little nose suckers so she just like bent down and she's like 
right oh out of our baby's nose. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I couldn't. I could not. I don't think I could. For my baby. If you were actually concerned about them, like, not being dying, able to breathe. Yeah. Right. I bet you would. But if it was just, like, a quick struggle, they'll get through it. No, they would No, it. absolutely <laughs> not. I might have, like, taken my sleeve and, like, pinched their nose and, like, tried to get it out that way. Yeah, but, like, I'm not going to suck. No. Absolutely. I would have. I would have actually vomited. Um, literally, if I just hear the sound of, like, someone gagging. I will start gagging and then I'll vomit a little I'm bit. I'm actually wondering throat. now how many moms like that are listening to this would have done that. Probably a lot. And that's the thing. You love your baby so much. And honestly, in a panicky situation, yeah. if especially if that, like think about it, like if that was a first time mom or something like that, or maybe even not, but like you just don't even know. And all of a sudden they're like, you can't breathe. And I'm like, oh, there's a booger. <laughs> I just think I would have stuck my, <laughs> my finger in their nose. <laughs> I don't think I would have done that. Okay. All the moms that listen, let us know. Would you have done that for your, the safety of your child? Um, that, that's what we want to know. Yeah. Also, I also want to know after the booger in the mouth situation, was there <laughs> ever a kiss after that? Or were you just like, oh, no go, dude. No I think go. if they puked, it was done. Oh, but you could know. just never recover. I feel like you just couldn't recover from that. I don't think you'd it's ever want to kiss again. Yeah. And it's not like a hole in the legging situation. Like that, that's hard. That's a hard recovery right there. That's what that yeah, is. Yeah. Like the hole in the legging situation was honestly great for the guy. Probably. <laughs> Had got to be the savior and the, yeah. And see her butt. Yeah. But not I mean, to get not to get too um PG thirteen on the pod, but but I mean okay. boys like butts. Okay, moving boys on. Like <laughs> moving on. Okay, junior senior banquet was a tradition at my college, and everyone looked forward to it. And it was kind of a thing to see how creative you could get asking your date to banquet. Well, about a week before banquet, I got dumped. Do you know what this is? Do you know the story? No. Okay. The day after I got dumped, a guy friend of mine sent me on an elaborate scavenger hunt at the end of which he was waiting to ask me to banquet. And when I said, friend, I don't really mean good friend. We were just on friendly terms and talked from time to time. Anyway, I didn't really want to say yes, having just had my heart broken the day before. You guys have to understand, people are putting, like, capital letters on the, these, like, who is that? I will, nope, you can't look. <sighs> See, but we I get didn't to know, really, but you guys yeah, But I didn't really feel like I had much of a choice at that point. So I'm already kind of salty about going to banquet with this guy. But I suck it up and put on a good face because I want him to have a nice time. He seemed to have fun. I did not. After the banquet, he dropped me off at my dorm room. He decided to come in to visit and decided that this was the right time after I had been dumped and after he had just taken me on a date, decided that this was the time to tell me he was gay. And not no. only and not only <laughs> tell me that he was gay, but just spent the next two hours telling me every detail of every partner he had been with. I guess you could say it was a pretty good date from beginning to end. <laughs> Who is this? I need to look at them. I need to look. I need to look. What? <laughs> what? I'm like, this sounds familiar, but I'm like, until you got to the last bit. What? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, somebody you did not know that well, her face? Oh, my gosh. This is a, that is a good story. I am messaging this person afterwards and being like, who the heck was that? Because what? I vaguely remember hearing about that. Oh, my gosh. That Two is hours telling you about every single partner they had? I Why? Why would like they feel that? Why would they feel the need to tell you that? Like, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. You don't need to tell somebody about every single partner you no, had. No, especially as, if, like, she thought she was on a date. Yeah, she thought she was on a date. That's the thing. And he said, she said it seemed like he had fun. Oof. So, like, I'm guessing it seemed like she thought Oof. he was, like, into her. Oof. Oh, wow. Oof. That one was too much that for me. That was a doozy. That, that one was, one was that a doozy. That one was too much for me. Okay. Okay. Um. So, my next one says... Once a guy told me on a first date he was speaking to someone else and said to me he wasn't sure who to choose between, me or her. So I said, goodbye to him, sis. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yes. that's it. That's it. That's, that's all. That's the story. That's the end of it. But I thought that and was I so just love that. I love, I love that. that. Honestly, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep on dropping my phone all over our equipment. Um, but I feel like that's gonna happen to me. One of the if I like keep Goodbye going on this like him, dating sis. road, that's gonna that's definitely gonna be a me at some point. I just realized like our episodes are really correlating together. They really like, are. The Hinge We're Boy doing this well. and then last week's episode and now this week's episode. Yeah, okay. Week's episode. You guys, what I'm about to unfold on you is a freaking novel of stories. But And we're here for it. We are here for it. Okay. 
Dating Stories is the title of this email slash text message slash whatever you're going to call this. Disclaimer. Something about me attracts different sorts, and it might be the whole teacher-counselor thing, but people tell me things. Unsolicited. So now that I read through these, I realize I am a crazy magnet. Oh, and I've been divorced since 2018 and dating since then. That is the intro. Okay, so I met this guy at catholicmatch.com. <laughs> that is a thing. Okay. And we had a ton in common. Both went to high school in Arizona and both live in Texas now. He's a petroleum engineer. I bring this up because there's another one of these, and that's when I decided I wouldn't go out with men in this profession ever again. Anyways, we talked for like a few weeks before going out. A very specific combo we had was about our worst fears. Mine happens to be the feeling of being trapped without a way out. Not claustrophobia. Think getting mm. deep into a cave. Okay. What? I think I have a little bit of that. And I've never I've never um, really known that it's a thing. Like, 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 tell me more. So small spaces don't really freak me out. But um, if I think- hey hand me one of those cherry candy things over there, okay, because I might be able to actually taste them. Thank you. The candy bowl always just has a special place it in just, our hearts. It just is here. And it just sits there, and yeah. we're I can't say no. Um. Anyway, so so like okay, a small space doesn't freak me out. Like you could shove me into a closet, and I could have things all around me. It doesn't freak me out. I don't care. But if I'm, like, sitting in, like, the clear backseat of a car and I think too hard about, like, getting in a car wreck and then not being able to get out or, like, something like that, I start getting, like, really tense up and, like, scared and stuff. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, that's really been the only case that I've thought about it in. <laughs> oh, my God. So maybe that has more to do with the fact that I had a car accident than I actually had that phobia. Okay, anyway, okay. back to the story. Very interesting. Okay, quick question, though. I mean, I'm going to pause the story real fast. Um. This is a very, very long one because she has multiple stories because she's kind of a crazy human being. No offense. Um, did you want to read, um, like, we go back and forth for each story? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's actually a great idea. Okay. Sorry, guys. One second. I have to find where I was out. Okay. Um, mine happens to be feeling... The feeling of being trapped without a way to get out. Not claustrophobia. Think getting deeper into a cave. So we met in a town and ate right next to a place. And of course it's known for its intricate caves. People come to tour. After we ate, he said he was thinking we would go to these caverns, caverns, whatever. Caverns. Thank you. I was like, oh, no, sorry. Worst fear. Remember, LOL. I offered several alternatives because I used to live around there. Austin area. We were in the parking lot and he can't get over the fact that I won't go in the caves. He ended up trying to grab my hand and take me to these caves. I literally spring around, walk away, get in my car, and booked it home. Okay, now read the next one. Okay. Um, other, what do you say? Petroleum yeah. engineer. Yes. And I were, oh my gosh, she has the same name as Hinge Boy. <laughs> okay, sorry. And I were set up by friends, of uh, friends basically. So we went to dinner and we were talking and he brings up that the Titanic sinking is a conspiracy theory, which it totally is. We should cover that sometime, like its own episode about how the Titanic is a, sinking is a conspiracy theory. There is a conspiracy theory, but mm -hmm. do you believe it? Yeah, I 100% believe okay, it. Okay, well, anyways, um, she's going to be pissed now that you said that, so keep reading. Oh, oh no. Okay. So we went to dinner, and we were talking, and he brings up that the Titanic sinking is a conspiracy theory. I was like, um, what? Mind you, it's my favorite historical tragedy. I still think it sank. Like, it 100% sank. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I just don't think it was the actual... Titanic. Oh, Titanic. Yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, um, what? Mind you, it's my favorite historical tra tragedy. We proceed to keep talking, and I realize this wackadoodle is one of those conspiracy theorists who believe the government is behind every unfortunate event. They are behind some. <laughs> well, <laughs> not every know, single one. If you don't know about what I, because the thing about conspiracy theories is, is that they're actually, there's a lot. Oh, of there's a lot them. that, like, people, like, 20 years ago, the conspiracy theorists, like, 20, 30, 40 years ago, everyone was like, they're crazy. And now, all this time later, like, oh, yeah, actually, that was a real thing. Like, a lot of these old, like, old conspiracy theories that started off the whole, like, conspiracy theorists, like, phenomena, whatever, have ended up not necessarily to the extreme that some people took it to. But, but there like, have been spooky it. things yeah, and sure. truths happening. Go listen yeah. to our conspiracy theory yeah. episode. Yeah, okay. Who believes the government is behind every unfortunate event? Well, you know how I feel about my America. It took every ounce of energy not to argue with him once I realized that. One of my friends called me with a fake emergency and I left after dinner. Okay. We love it. We love that. Always have a friend ready to go. 
like we talked about in last week's episode, let the, make sure they know where you are. Have a code word, something. Set something up. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> I was a tad late to a date. Two hours, maybe four. I don't know. And he yelled at me over the phone when he found out where I was. Are you on crazy pills? Then he said, you make me think I need crazy pills. I showed up and he was the opposite of my type. Tall, blonde, skinny jeans, and converse. 20 minutes into dinner, our family group text gets a message from my dad saying my mom's dog, who I don't particularly have the best relationship with, um, got between a, a bale of hay, hay ugh, between a bale of hay and the hay fork on the tractor and was going into emergency surgery in Waco. I tell this guy, a commercial banker, who was so unfamiliar with the farm life, he was like, look, if you wanted to leave, you could just get up and leave. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't even want to leave. It's not a fake emergency. He didn't really believe me. We told each other to have a good life after dinner. What? Okay. These are all wild. This is like, this is good. This, she lives a wild life. This is about to be my dating life. Yep. Okay. I'm into it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, fast forward. And the previous boy and I start dating. I know. Long story. First time I went to his house, three hours away. I walk in and he's giving me a tour. Oh my gosh, this one's We've gone on like three dates and I'm super new to dating. He shows me his walk-in closet and an entire side is empty and he's like, this is your side. (laughs) Oh my gosh. And I want to say, this is your side. (laughs) Literally, that's probably, that's how I imagine him saying it. Okay. Okay. Looking at her seductively. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, OMG, where is it? The dog shish kebab emergency. She <laughs> the dog shish kebab. Where's the dog shish kebab emergency? She lives so we can joke about it now when you need it. So I told him I had to go because my sister was about to buy a piece of Ikea furniture and I had to stop her. Yes, I know this was cringeworthy on my part. We ate and I booked it three hours back to my house. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but the Converse in skinny jeans as a, what, late 20s, early 30 year old. This should have been your first tip off. Like we should have left those back in high school at the very latest. At the very latest. Unless you're like a music teacher. I feel like music teachers are yeah, always taking where those. If you're if you're in any kind of like musical anything, they that can pull it up. But he wasn't. He was a he was a Okay, whatever. also I feel like we kind of like missed a very important part where she said, uh-huh. dog shish kebab emergency. She lived so we can joke about it later. That dog lived. That I dog actually remember lived. that story. That dog was literally Yeah. Got caught between a bale of hay and the hay fork. The hay fork. So the hay fork, like, went into her? stabbed into the dog <laughs> all the way through. Oh, yeah, I remember pretty. that. Yeah, but you probably had to pay a lot for that. Okay, next one. Went out with a guy and saw a few coworkers. I was thinking this was going to be love. The next Monday, they pulled me aside and showed me his arrest record, which only listed a bunch of codes. So my sister googled the codes, and it ended up being for the most dangerous controlled substances: cocaine heroin pain pills oh, and no. an illegal firearm i was mortified you got it all girlfriend Th- got it all yeah this is all accumulated in two years two, uh, two years of years. dating this is two years i would of dating. simply give up i think i think every single man that she has been with there has been something crazy wow they really know how to raise them down south hey i guess um so i have a, a james avery charm bracelet and it has a bunch of charms on it there are certain charms on it that seem to catch on everything anyway this guy and i are eating and i'm telling it and i'm telling a really animated story at the time i had mermaid hair and it was a giant because in the south we believe the higher the hair the closer you are to jesus <laughs> I like this guy, so I needed Jesus on my side. Well, apparently I was telling a really animated story, and the bracelet got tangled in my hair, but not like on the side or the ends. No, on top of my head, in all caps. I tugged and realized it was stuck, stuck, in all caps. My wrist was stuck completely flat to my teased hair right at my scalp. I'm laughing at myself and trying to tell him what's going on. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. So he's trying to help me untangle it. And you can tell he's not getting anywhere. So he takes my wrist and starts shaking my hand to see if it'll come loose. It eventually did with a wad of hair in it, which fell right into our chips. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That one is is too much for me. uh, That's just just like bad luck. Yeah. Very bad luck. Very bad luck. Okay. <clears throat> OMG, my first date ever. Grandma and Grandpa Kirby were in Arizona, and my date came to pick me up. Of course, Grandma was right in the middle of the action, insisted that he sit with her, and she was going to show him some pictures. Yeah, I don't know what I was. Love this. I don't know what I was thinking the pic to be of, but she proceeds to pull out an emergency travel photo album of family pictures from her purse. Like what? 
uh, my Who mom has, a, has that an emergency travel photo album not necessarily i don't know where why emergency but my mom has that little tiny photo album that she takes yeah what? and it's all of us and we she's like has like baby pictures family pictures and then one of like one or two of each of our senior pictures and then those who are married why? they're married pictures why? so that when you are telling people in your travels about your family as people do you can show them you can be like this is them and show them pictures oh this is like, i've seen my oh. mom do it i've seen my mom do it oh this is the thing people did before technology before technology before you could pull oh. up their facebook yep oh, 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 oh. it's very old school or thing. the fact that you would probably just have pictures of them on your phone yeah Okay, anyways, emergency travel photo album of family pictures from her purse, including all of the cringiest ones of me. Of course, she goes through it with him, page by page, introducing him to my entire family via pictures. Grandma, if you're listening to this, I love you with all my heart. That's incredible. I can't believe that that my grandma was there for her first date. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay, I would want your grandma to be there on a first date. I love your grandma. I love my grandma, too. Um, I went on a date with a guy who had cattle, and we were going somewhere in his truck. I'm not sure exactly why, but he asked me to grab something out of the center console of his truck. So I started rummaging through it, and then he was like, OMG, no, stop now, in all caps. And I was oh like, uh, God. secret serial killer, question mark? He pulls out a bottle of Ludolice. Oh, l- l- okay, pronounced Lualace. Thank you. Which she she is, put that? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank which you. is, uh, she knew. She knew we wouldn't know. Which is a livestock med that will mess a woman up bad, in all caps. Like, <gasps> can it sterilize her bad. <gasps> At the same time, he'd cross lanes on the interstate, cut someone off, and he comes up right next to us and flips us off with both hands and sticks his tongue out. Anyway, your cattlemen and women listeners might get a kick out of this one. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. <gasps> what? So he flipped somebody else or someone else flipped us off? It looks like, um, so blah, 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 blah. Okay. At the same time, he crossed lanes on the interstate, cut someone off, and he comes, and then the other, the guy he cut off, I'm guessing, comes uh, up right next to them and flips them off uh, with both hands and sticks his tongue out. When people do that and they're like waving both hands at you, I'm like, who, who's driving? <laughs> I'm like, who's steering? <laughs> who's steering? That makes me nervous. <laughs> okay, okay, but also, okay, one second, I need to look at this. One. Yeah, you look at that. Okay. I started rummaging through it, and he's like, "Oh, Gino, stop now!" And I was like, "Oh, secret serial killer." Probably. Okay, he said, "Which is a livestock med that will mess a woman up bad, like can sterilize her, like even if you just get like a little on you." I don't know because like it's maybe. not like she's just gonna start drinking it. No, but maybe it was like in a syringe or something, like gonna like she thought it might be used as a weapon or something. Okay, you know? like we need to know more. Yeah, we need a little. No, we need a little bit more detail on that one. Okay. I'm interested in that one. Uh, because then also, like, why would he just be, like, carrying it around in his truck? And then also, also, if he wasn't planning on doing something bad with it, why did he want her to not see it? Okay, yeah. We need some more. Yeah. We need to know more on this one. Okay, next one. I get why she was concerned about it, though. Well, yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, was he using it? I don't know. Okay. This guy was, like, apparently really nervous for the end of the night kiss. And so he went in for the kill without any warning, and we knocked deep. I had to go pass away after that. So I don't know whatever happened to him. Okay, can I get a little TMI and you tell me if I'm not allowed to? Okay. When I kiss a boy, I feel like my teeth just get in the way. And I've told Serena this numerous times, and I think I might just be a bad kisser, but I'm like, what are my teeth doing here? They're not supposed to be part of this party. Yeah, my teeth never get in the way. Yeah, okay. Okay. (laughs) We might cut that out. (laughs) Or we can leave it and we can do a poll. Do your teeth ever get in the way? Yeah, do you ever feel like your teeth get And not in the way that, like, we knock teeth ever, but I'm just like, I feel like they're not supposed to be here, and they are. Anyone? I need Anyone to think about this me? more. Like, I never... And it's not like you can just ask a boy, like, hey, am I a bad kisser? I don't know about the teeth thing. I need to kiss again. I need to kiss right now, and then I can try it out. And then... yeah. Maybe we should kiss each other, and then we can kiss. I'm yeah, that's going to be a big no. You have <laughs> a husband. A joke. You have a husband for these very reasons. For this very also, reason. I don't think I could, like, make out with a girl. Like, even if it was, like, not, like, sexual at all. Like, I'm not attracted to you. Like, it was just, like, a thing. Like, I think making out with a girl would be really weird. Yeah. Probably. Like, do you think you could? No. Oh, okay. Why is this a conversation right now? That's all I want to know. Okay, moving on. I'll just tell one more because the last one was really, really small. (laughs) Haha, I forgot about this one. I went out to eat with this guy. I had gotten dressed in a mad rush because I was a last, it was a last minute deal. Midway through the dinner, I needed to use the restroom. And as I'm getting up and walking, I feel something weird in one of my pant legs. I pulled down my pants in in the restroom only to discover that there is a pair of panties. (laughs) All wadded up in my pant leg? How? I don't know. The dryer, I guess. Yeah. That's but happened to me are... before. 
that yeah that that is a real thing uh, but these were tight pants so how did i get dressed and not notice so i shoved the panties in my louis clutch and go on the the day was awesome so we were walking around downtown fort worth and end up at melt for ice cream I went. I want to pay because I'm an independent woman, and because we had just been at a really nice steakhouse that he had paid for. And of course, open my clutch, and the neon pink lacy cheeky panties get stuck in the zipper. No, <laughs> that is like something from a movie. And fling out, <laughs> hanging from the zipper <laughs> of my Louis Vuitton. Worse yet is that he exclaims as I'm trying to fight back the panties out of the zipper and stuff them back into anywhere besides public. Whoa, are those for me? <gasps> OMG, OMG. I just prayed and it went like this. OMG, OMG, OMG. Jesus, take me home. Hashtag mortified. <laughs> Jesus, take me home. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. You can read the next two because that one's like small. Uh. Um, wait, where are we? Okay. If a man says they love you, under no circumstances should you say, thank you, whoops, life lesson. On a date, we go out to this tiny town that has bars on both sides of a highway, and people cross the street back and forth to bars because they all specialize in a different genre of music. I'm walking across the street with a date with a date man, and I see what I perceive as a perfectly intact but empty beer can. I get a small jog going and stomp on the beer can as hard as I can with both feet. Yes, I know. I am a, I am 31. Act my age. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Turns out. <the> <laughs> Just the way you said that, too. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Turns out the can was completely full of beer and it sprayed my date head oh! to toe with beer. I would say he was an angry little elf after that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. And this guy I was kind of dating called and his grandma wanted to know if my mom's name is okay. beep make beep. up a new name okay i was like uh, oh no, yeah mary we'll call her mary okay i was like oh yeah thinking they knew each other he was like oh she found her on facebook cue the horror movie music as anyone who knows my mom knows she is very opinionated <laughs> and every once in a while she just can't help but express things that opinions on the facebook Oh Turns out, my. oh no! Turns out his grandma is a raging liberal. We decided things wouldn't work long term with us in the end. Oh my gosh! Okay, Mary, who, as we we're calling her, is a raging conservative. <laughs> okay, so funniest thing, um, because something kind of similar happened. Uh, you remember Zachary from high school? Right? Yes. He won't mind me name dropping him on here, but um, he came to my graduation party, and my uncles were there. And if you know either of my uncles, they are both, like, raging conservatives. And Zachary was liberal. And um, my I, I just remember at one point I was, like, ho- being, like, a little hostess, whatever, or, like, saying thank you to everyone, giving hugs, whatever. And I look over, and he is literally sat, like, sandwiched between my two uncles. And I just hear them talk, like, just <gasps> – They're talking politics. T- talking politics. Oh, no. And, I mean – it, Zachary is a politician if I've ever seen one so he handled it gracefully and smoothly and like it kind of made me want to vomit just how well he handled himself but like oh my gosh I was like oh no what is happening and that just reminded me of that okay that is actually really funny okay literally happened this morning a guy I haven't seen or talked to since October texted me saying he loved me with all his heart this is an everyday occurrence why haven't I blocked him I don't know lols men don't be crazy unreal why haven't i blocked him i don't know lols <laughs> oh my gosh do you respond like what makes him keep coming back oh I my gosh know. craziness i don't know oh i went on a date with a guy i said ooh because she put ooh, ooh. at the beginning like ooh, this is gonna be a good one <laughs> i went on a date with a guy that is a g-a-g J A G, sorry, so like JAG in all caps, in the army and had been in Afghanistan and Iraq. He was just what? Nothing. I was just oh, messing with my okay, mic. <laughs> got it. He was describing what he had seen in the jails there while we were there and how he handled the legalities of that. It was fascinating in all caps, but disgusting also <laughs> in all caps. Mind you, at one point, my grandma had a picture of cows complete prolapse that would come up in the picture rotation on the computer in the <laughs> dining room and i never thought twice 
slice of it. What's funny is I know the exact picture she's talking right? about. Yeah. I've seen that rotation so many times in my life. Okay. Nothing makes me sick, but how he described it made me gag, and I had to go throw up in the restroom of a nice steakhouse. When I got back to the table, he said, I didn't think you were that kind of girly girl. Oh, oh, my he, God. Oh, honey, he is a serial killer for sure. Like or is- he at least needs, like, some therapy. Yeah. Or something. Oh, my gosh. Or something. Is that the end? Yeah, that's the that's end. Oh, you know. I didn't think you were go. that kind of girly girl. Gross. You know, a gentleman would have been like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, that a gentleman probably... wouldn't have told you No, that. a gentleman wouldn't have told you that. But even if, like, he, I don't know, had a couple too many drinks and got, like, loosey-goosey with whatever he was saying, after you had that reaction, a, a nice, understanding, well-rounded, mentally stable human being would have been like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm sorry. I, that was probably too much. Like, are you okay? I just cannot. Not you know, like, oh, my gosh. So okay. All right. Okay, guys. Last one. Speaking of steak, I went out to eat with this guy who orders a steak. I also order a steak. And he's, like, squinting at me and then asks the waiter, in all caps, if they do halves of steaks. Like, what in the world? But I thought, maybe he's not that hungry or something. Turns out he was asking for me. I'm kind of petite, so I guess he just assumes I don't I don't eat food. Like, I don't know. I didn't care if he was going to kill me. I was going to eat every bite of my steak, and I did. I also never spoke to him again because, you know, when you assume things, you make an ASS of yourself. That's right. You tell him. Okay. And then that was the end, but she has an exit paragraph. That leads me to, are you my soulmate? I'm a 32-year-old school counselor with blonde hair and greenish-bluish eyes, and I also have a 7-year-old human that I made from scratch. I'm kind of wild and a tad ornery from my creepy shackle genetics, but I really like to laugh, and I'm goofy. So... And I'd mostly rather be dancing or riding a horse in the middle of nowhere rather than anything. So, for you 12% out there. 12% of male listeners. 12% have no of idea male listeners. Are. Does this sound like the dream woman for you? That's all we want to know. Because obviously, she needs, if you're crazy, just, she's been through enough in the past two years, yeah. man. If you're what, crazy, don't even just try. Just don't even try. Nope. Just don't even try. We already have enough stories. Just stay out of it. Otherwise. Yeah. That's all I have. Otherwise, we're going to make an entire episode on you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is right. Front and center. Personal. Okay, Jenna. Give us the give us the next one. Okay, so the next one is actually a recording. Um, like a little video. Does anyone mark a polo? I don't know if anyone mark um, a polo. It used to be a thing. Um, also, for this video, I'd really like to enjoy a piece of one of those candies. Can you pass me back the candy? Yeah. The sucking okay. candies? Oh, uh, Oh, oh, yeah, pass wait, the whole thing. One? Pass, just pass me the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, here's the whole bowl. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, anyway, so it's this thing where you send video messages back and forth to each other. And when we do these things, um, I usually, like, text different people. And I'm like, hey, give me some good stories. Because if you just put up – for the people in my life who I at least know have good stories, sometimes you put it up and they just won't say anything, but you know they have it. So I will message them outright. Oh, she doesn't like that one. Anything that has a weird pink or um, filling, it's going to be a no for me, dog. Oh, my gosh. She just wasted that whole thing. What is it? I don't even know. Do you want it? No, I don't want it. Um, Literally, the only chocolates left in there are probably the ones that I don't like or that I don't want. Um, actually, I think there's, like, one white chocolate Reese's one in there shaped like a bell that, from Christmas that are actually pretty good. Anyway. Uh, no, that's going to be a cherry middle. You won't like that. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Keep going. Um, anyway, so it's, like, this video message you send back and forth. And um, I text my one friend and I'm like, hey, send me some funny date stories. And she's like, okay, she sent four. I'm just going to play one for you guys and you'll just get a taste. So here she is. And we also want to have her on as a guest. So this is actually fun. Oh, 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 one second. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so terrible date story. Number- I was 18 or 19 in college. We used to go out dancing. My lip is so chapped. I'm going to the doctor. Um, We used to go out dancing and we met these guys at this club called Boogie that I started going to when I was 15. And um, they were like super attractive, like 
model super attractive and they live down in Huntington Beach and my friend and I they were like hey come down Let's hang out blah 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 so my friend Jenny and I went down there and we met them at um one of their apartments and they were like it was two guys and they were like um oh like our friends having some people over let's go and so we're like okay and i had gone to school and already worked all day like both and then um i was <laughs> tired and it was like a saturday i think and friday i don't know what day of the week it was i went to school and work so i know that i was tired and it had already been like a long week and um this dude is driving a mustang convertible and my friend and i are in the back seat and we were literally praying to jesus because he was driving so fast and dodging in and out of cars like we thought we were gonna die like and i was like balls to the wall anything at that point in my life because i was stupid and like 18 or 19 and it was so terrifying like we got to their friend's house and there was like 10 people there and they all wanted to watch a movie and i was falling asleep like you know you're so tired you just like you can't you can't i couldn't keep my eyes open and i kept telling jenny like we need to leave and we didn't have a vehicle and so we didn't know these guys were we're like hey like we have a long drive home because it took us like 45 minutes to get home like are we leaving soon they're like yeah as soon as the movie's over as soon as the movie's over as soon as the movie's over and the fucking movie i don't remember what movie it was i don't remember much of that evening besides the fact that we thought we were gonna die we were both tired and could not keep our eyes open. And let me tell you that the second we left, we were praying again in the vehicle. And the guys were like nice, but they were nothing special besides being very attractive. And same thing happened on the way back, like praying to God that we aren't gonna die because this person should not have had a driver's license. And we got back and they're like, hey, let's hang out. And we're like, peace. And we ran to the car and left. We we're like, no, 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 no. Like there, no, no. If I feel like I'm gonna die, like literally die in your vehicle. No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that was the first one. There's going to have to be a few bleeps in there. Um, we'll leave those out for you guys. Uh, I <laughs> sorry, We did that. not know those were there. We did not know those were there. But mind you, she sends me these Marco polls whenever she's driving anywhere in her car. And, she, and I'm surprised there weren't more little life updates like stuck in there because she's one of those people that like is just all over the place all the time, which is what I love about her. But she'll be like halfway in the middle of the story and she'll be like, oh, and did I tell you blah, 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 this thing happened today at work and a little, and then she's like, oh, anyway, and then she's just so quick all over the place. Okay, she's give hilarious. us one more. Okay, I'll give you one I more. I actually want another one. Okay. Here we go. She's making a really funny face in this one, so we'll see what it does okay. here. Oop. Oop. Okay. Here we go. I have another one. Okay. So, it was, oh my God, what year was it? Junior high school. 16, 17 years old, Sadie Hawkins dance. Um, my high school boyfriend and I had broken up for the second time. And my two best guy friends who I would totally go to a dance with both had dates already. They had girls who had already asked them. So I asked my friend who went to a different school. So he was a um public school kid he's actually a mormon but that's besides the point um, <laughs> literally does not matter mike. and i'm like mike will you go with me he's like oh my god i'd love to i'm like awesome just my friend and uh, sadie hawkins super casual like i was he was wearing a navy blue plaid shirt and i was wearing a navy blue like little sundress and we met with a bunch of friends and we went to in and out and had burgers and scarfed and had shakes and fries and all that kind of stuff. And then we went to, I'm passing my street so I can finish the story quick. 
then we went to the dance. We get to my high school, and fucking Mike, he was just a funny, fun guy, and he got so drunk before. And mind you, I went to a Catholic high school, so if they knew you were drunk and you showed that you were drunk, like you got suspended, even at if, like at the dance, right? Like you were gonna be suspended. So Mike is belligerent, like so f- drunk, and I didn't want to take a purse in. So I was like, hold my car, because I drove us. Hold my car keys. Okay, holding my car keys. The whole night, he's just, like, drunk as f***. And, like, embarrassing. And I'm just like, whatever. And so we had fun. Like, it was a bunch of us friends who all went together. And it's time to leave. We walk to my car. I ask Mike for my keys. He can't find them. I don't have your keys. And I'm like, yes, you do. Because I don't have a purse because I don't have pockets because I'm wearing this tiny little dress and you were holding my car keys. And he's like, I don't have your keys. Turn around, walk back up a huge hill in the forest of the high school that I go to. And we start searching the bleachers. We search the bleachers for almost two hours, okay? Oh my God. Mind you, he has bottles of alcohol in my vehicle that's in my school parking lot of my gated in catholic school okay we can't find it anywhere so thank god my friend david is there and he's like des don't worry you can come back tomorrow like stop looking for the keys i will take you guys home he lived near me i will take you guys home you could ha- come back tomorrow i'm like okay fine. go home and on our way home, it's like a 45 minute drive. Mike starts trying to like make out with me. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> we are just friends. And you literally just f-ing lost my car keys. Mike. Dude. Garage door. Dude, buddy. So, take a hint. Drop him off. I do not walk him to his door. I'm a little perturbed. And my friend Dave takes me home and he's like, if you need me to take you back to your school tomorrow, let me know. I will take you. I'm sure your car keys are there. Blah, blah, blah. So my parents were like, we'll just drive you. It was like a Saturday or Sunday morning. They're like, we'll take you. We'll go get them. I'm like, Mike lost my keys. They knew Mike. They thought it was funny. They drive me back to the school. My car keys were found. They were like under the bleachers. My parents... My dad opens my car door for me. Oh, no. And there are two bottles of cheap, disgusting vodka laying on the floor. Oh. And I was grounded for two months because I had open containers in my car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought when she said when she said they knew Mike, they thought it was funny. I thought that she, like, had included that he was drunk off his butt and that there was alcohol in her car. Oh. Like, I think I would have said something ahead of time. Like, that's not yeah, my, right. like, I couldn't get him under control. Like, I am so sorry. Right. Yeah. No, like, I, I don't know what I would do there. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's tough. That's a tough one. Man. All Mike's the trying to heard. make out with me. <laughs> Mike's trying to make out with me. Like, another like, guy dude. is driving. Like, oh Mike's just gosh. in the back. Like, oh. <laughs> Having a good time. Just, he's Mormon. That's beside the point. That's beside like the what? Point. <laughs> well, I guess maybe I did if it was a Catholic, like a Catholic oh, event. It yeah. probably was kind of like a bigger deal that it was. Like, yeah, because we probably just usually took someone from the school. From the school, yeah. yeah. So I guess that doesn't. Or the sense. neighboring, because it was an all girls Catholic school. Oh, so if you took another like Catholic boy, Catholic boy from the then, boys Catholic school, but then school. they bring, but then she brings a then Mormon. Brings Mormon. Okay, that actually makes sense. Oh, okay. big deal, big deal, big deal. Man, we had some good ones. This was a fun episode. This was so good. It you made guys. me feel like a little less uh, sad about my own dating life. I'm not gonna lie, because some people have got some bad stories. Some people have got some bad stories. Maybe it's just best that I sit out alone in my home most nights. I don't know. It makes a good story. You could write a book. I yeah. Oh my gosh. I told my cousin the one yeah. who you guys the one who sent in like the like stories. She the should stories. Yeah. She said she said that that that's her plan. Like she's literally writing a book. She has like cover art and everything. That's incredible. <laughs> I would. I'm gonna read that book. I'm gonna buy the book. I'm gonna read that book. I'm gonna tell everyone else to read oh that book. Oh my gosh. Man, this has been a fun one. I love it when we do write-in ones. I feel like people are writing in more and giving us more people content. Are, it's people so fun. are starting to um actually yeah, like, get into get it. Get into it. Yeah. So you guys keep it. writing it in. We absolutely love it. Um, we're never not going to tell your story unless 
for some odd reason, like we have like 50. <laughs> For some odd reason, it hasn't happened yet. Um, but in that case, we would probably – we love you guys so much. We would probably just make a part two. Part two. Okay. So, oh, you know what we should do is – um, okay, I'm going to write this down. A poll for what our next write-in story episode oh, should be. Oh, yeah. What do you guys want? Yeah, what do you guys want? A little question box. See what you guys want for write-in stories. What you want us – what you want to tell us and what you want to hear from other people. Because people – people's got – they've got stuff to tell, man. They love to tell, especially when it's, like, anonymous. And you don't yeah. have to have a name attached. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. We love it. It is. The only, the only thing is that I feel like some people don't want to write in because they don't want us to know who got it. Oh, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. Like, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, yeah, with that, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I think that kind of kind of gets it gets it done. Gets it done. That gets her done. All right, you guys. Um, Thanks for listening. Thanks for sending things in. Um, Go write us a review. We love reviews. Yep. Go follow us on Instagram at Coffee and a Combo Podcast and on Facebook at Coffee and a Combo Podcast. Oh, I actually have another comment to make. Um, we have been we continuously add stuff to our like to know it, mm-hmm. and we post on um, Instagram when we add stuff to it. And you guys, I don't know who it is who is out there buying stuff that we're posting, but you, some of you are. Yeah, so, and we actually get like commission off of it, you guys. So don't stop. Yeah, no, we get commission. We um, love it. Not a lot, you know. We still have probably not even made a hundred dollars off the pod, but it's fine. Yeah, you know what? That's besides the point. We made close to 100 If though. one of you would go and buy the flippin' KitchenAid, yeah. that would give us actually no, 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 no. That's bad commission, actually. I was just looking at it right now. It's bad commission. You make like 1% oh. off that. But if one of you goes and buys the Dyson, oh. now we're talking. We're making like $30 off that. Yeah, KitchenAid doesn't need any help. They're rolling in the dough. Yeah, that's so dumb. Like, So the KitchenAid's like $379, right? And we make that. Five dollars off of it, about. Oh, and the Dyson is four hundred. That's not even like one percent. I mean, it is one percent. Three hundred is three. What? It's fine. No. Jenna can't do math. Her dad's a math teacher. She the does. Dyson, the Dyson is four hundred and forty-nine dollars, and you make thirty-one dollars off of it. It shows you estimated oh, commission, yeah. like what they predicted. One percent would be three dollars, wouldn't it? Okay. okay. Yeah, we're so, there now. We got anyways, there. Anyways, you guys, um, go shop our like to know it. Um, leave us a written review, and I think that's all. We'll be here again next week in your ear holes for another episode of Coffee and a Combo Podcast. Bye. Bye. Bye.